Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Today I'm just going to go through the Legendary Relic Shard promo chest, um, which contains 30 shards uh, of uh, whichever relic it is that you do choose. Now, the first relic, um, the first thing that I want to talk about um, is the amount that you get. So, as you can see, you can get 30 from the relic rebate and if you go all the way through um, you're able to obtain a total of 90 uh, of these red shards so if that is 300 relics or prayers um, or summons on this particular uh, summon event where uh, when the rebate is on you will get um, these these relic shard chests now please i'm just going to preface this entire video please do not summon on this banner or, or in this this event please don't summon uh in the oracle temple please don't summon in the hall of heroes uh common summon synergy summon without there being a rebate on if you do um you are either impatient or a dummy i'm sorry to say um because the amount of value that you get uh, from your additional summons is uh, is unbelievable and uh, it's not something that you'll be able to find anywhere else uh, in the game so uh, without further ado um, what we need to do is decide which uh, which legendary relic um, that you'll need to uh, choose from um, now my personal suggestion um, and it uh, again it is it is an opinion uh, it doesn't um, doesn't mean it's the the best opinion but from what i've done with this uh this opportunity here is i have gone for the hand of um tear shards so if we go to my relics um as you can see i've leveled up my hand of tear um a, up to three stars so far um which finally unlocks this uh passive when all allies reach a total of 50 stacks of buffs all allies get an additional one stack of shield equal to 25 percent um and that's when you get it up to three stars as you can see if i go over to two stars this one's still locked so the way that it works uh, and the way that um the relic system or the relic leveling system works for legendary relics uh, is the same as uh, for all of the other previous relics as well uh, as you can see the only relics that i do not have um are the the ones that you can get from uh, the other relic summon uh, the mystic forge um, I've just not invested in that you probably should have uh, to get this spear um, but uh, that aside these are the ones that you can get effectively free to play through that relic rebate um, now as far as which one that you should be choosing again my personal recommendation is the hand of tear um, firstly because it does reset all of the previous um it does reset all of the previous uh relics on this passive here it resets the cooldown of recovery and burst type relics and grants all she uh, all allies shield equal to 200 percent that's the one for me um because i use glorians and i use avengers the most believe it or not i did not have a glorians team um when i first selected this the reason that i chose it was because i was running an avengers team sort of uh, mid game when i first realized when i should be summoning um hopefully won't make the same mistake but it all does depend on um the team that you are running at the time so for me personally um the the best ones uh for you to pick from out of the um the rebate over here or the the chest in order for you to get one of these um are the the uh, the ones with the timers uh, or the the green timers on them so as you can see if we go into here uh, the hand of tear is a uh, a chrono relic uh, is what it's called in game but it, it resets the cooldown uh, and there are a couple of others let me just show you so if I filter by uh, chrono relics these ones go in slot three and the reason that i would select choosing these ones um first over any others um is primarily because 
uh, there are no non-legendary uh, uh, non-legendary chrono relics. So, bear with me. Sorry about that, I had to sneeze. Um, if we go to um, all of the epic relics, and I'll cycle through them here. Um, so you've got the Vulcan's Hammer, which you get from the guild, um, but is a um, it doesn't have a type. The Orpheus Leer, um, this is a, uh, a burst type relic. Again, burst type relic for the Book of Toth, uh, burst type relic for f uh, the War Song or the Horn. Blades of Chaos, um, another great, fantastic relic which you will need uh, in order to, to get through end content. Um, and the Whirling Blade as well, all of which are burst. Uh, Excalibur. Uh, and then if we go to the purple relics, so Kamir's Lantern, it's a recovery relic. Um, uh, and the same is true for all of the purple ones as well. So if you are going to choose. Um, a legendary relic I would suggest not replacing ones that you already have um, or slots that you already have so for example if I go to the wilderness and I build a lost city team um, I want to build a if I want to build a mystifiers team if I have a very strong Mystifiers team and it's getting me through a lot of content, um, I do want to, and I've say I've I've not got a uh, a, leg a yeah a legendary relic. My setup would look something like uh, something like this, you know. So you've got your uh, your two purples and then you've got your uh, your burst as well following that. Um, what you want to do is you want to choose the relic that synergizes with the, uh, the team that you are running currently. So in this case, uh, the scythe or the, the knight's edge would be the one that I need to select because it fits the uh, the recommended type, which is the chrono relic, which will cool down the first two. Um, and it will also, um, it fits into that slot just nicely. It doesn't replace any of the existing powerful relics that you've got already. Um, it just adds to it. Whereas if you were to choose the bow, uh, if you were to go for the bow on the first one, then you're going to have uh, a sticky choice, and it's going to be um, you're going to have your um, you're going to have this uh, or the the purple relic. You're going to have the uh, epic relic, and then it will move over to the um, the bow relic. But as you can see, both have a hundred cost. Um, or for me, both both have a hundred cost. So it is something to keep in mind. So what I would suggest for the first, um, the first relic that you do choose um, should be a chrono relic. So one of these relics, the recommended in the third slot, uh, and it's to go with your synergy. So the same would be true if you were to select, um, say you, were, you had a, a really good Ethereals team, um, and you had these two, and you wanted to choose a relic for that, you would choose the the scales in this case. Um, so that um, it fit nicely. You've got all of your recommended types uh, up here at the top. Um, and also uh, it will reset the cooldown for your first two. So again, my first one looked something like this. This was my first um, full relic setup. Um, and I found this to be um, really, really powerful. Especially um, in harder content as well. Uh, the Blades of Chaos can, can fit in anywhere, uh, and the Hand of Tear was, was excellent for um, a, a shield bonus as well. So it is just something to, to take into consideration. Um, what teams are you running, um, and what slots have you already filled? Um, again, you don't want to detract from the first two slots. Um, you want to be building uh, on the synergies that you do have um, as well. It does activate if you have three of the same. So for in this case, I'll have three um, Avengers relics. So let's uh, go into an Avengers unit and see what that means. Your time of so if I go into Avengers uh, on here, I can see the Avengers um, information. Uh, if I click on relics, it will tell me what will happen if I have three relics or two relics um, of this synergy activated. And it will tell you which relics down here 
um, so which relics you should go for. Um, so when an Avengers Synergy mate revives, it has 50% chance to retain the buffs prior to its death. And when an Avengers Synergy mate dies um, or revives, it has 100% chance to retain the buffs prior to its death. Uh, and the buffs will last for one round. So with this, um, it's very important that your Synergy mates keep all of the buffs um, that they had accumulated previously. Uh, for units like Selene, um, who uh, primarily focus on raising their attack stacks and damage stacks. Uh, if you don't have the correct relics, or if you don't have three of the correct relics, um, then you will um, effectively uh, lose all of those buffs that you've gained. Um, similar, similar principle with um, any of the units. So if I go into Ellie here, and I have a look in relics, um, at the start of battle, after your synergy mates will obtain HP bond buff and increases damage resistance by 5 uh, and then by 10% if you have all three relics so really important for you to um, really important for you to to select that um, the correct relics uh, because you do get the the damage reduction by 10% uh, as well so just something to, to keep in mind when you are selecting your relics um, I do wish you the best on your uh, prayers or on your summons um, if you have any questions, please do let me know. Um, and if you'd like to see more content like this, uh, maybe I go through each individual relic, how you use them properly. Um, and we'll take, uh, yeah, just let me know. Um, if you could subscribe and, and give a like, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.